Hi, I'm Andrew, the Young Adult and Media Librarian at North Brunswick Public Library. One day in, det one day in detention come five, five high school students. They're known as being a rebel, a recluse, a brain, a princess, and a jock. And they leave that detention center changed and able to understand each other better. Now, I could be describing a movie from my youth called The Breakfast Club, which by the way is available on DVD at North Brunswick Public Library, or I could be talking about a popular mystery called One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus. Now, usually when I do book talks, I like to look at books that have been out only the past year or two because I like to keep things fresh. Um, but I'm talking about this one uh, because you know, we had our book, we just uh, had our book talk, book club, our team book club meeting about it. We had a really good, interesting conversation. And you know, we're always looking for people to join. Uh, want to discuss some YA books. Uh, now, One of Us is Lying is a mystery novel. Um, and with that comes you know, all the fun sort of guessing games as you go along. I wonder if this person did it. Oh, could that be a clue? Why is that person acting so strange? You know, and that, that's part of the fun of reading a mystery as well as seeing if you could put the clues together and come to a logical conclusion. Uh, but I think that one thing I really enjoyed about it is that it's sort of the book went beyond that a bit because yes, as in every mystery, characters have secrets. And in this case, you know, the secrets were uh, very, you know, sort of tearing apart the characters apart a little bit and they become sympathetic. All right, so there are five students who go into detention and four of them are narrators of the book. And one of them, of course, does, is not a narrator of the book because this character does not survive detention. And you know, I'm, I, I don't, obviously with a mystery, I really don't want to give away too much because part of the fun is the discovery as you go and you know what I just said happens very early in the book so it's should be too much of a shock although you may well I'll, I'll leave it up to you to read and see how it happens um, so I'm going to take a read something very early in the book so that I don't give anything away or anything like that okay so this is right now it's from one of the characters point of view Bronwyn and Bronwyn is very academically focused and she, and she sees another student, Simon. Simon has his own strange so has social media presence where he discusses secrets of the students. Simon's still on my heels when I reach Mr. Avery's lab on the third floor and I have to turn with my arms crossed. Don't you have some place to be? Yeah, detention, Simon says, and waits for me to keep walking. When I grab the knob instead, he bursts out laughing. You're kidding me. You too? What's your crime? I'm wrongfully accused, I mutter, and yank the door open. Three other students are already seated, and I pause to take them in. Not the group I would have predicted, except one. Nate Macaulay tips his chair back and smirks at me. You make a wrong turn? This is detention, not student council. You should know. Nate's been in trouble since fifth grade, which is right around the time we last spoke. The gossip mill tells us he's on probation. It was Bayview's finest for something. It might be a DUI. It might be drug dealing. He's a notorious supplier, but my knowledge is purely theoretical. Save the commentary. Mr. Avery checks something off on a clipboard and closes the door behind Simon. High arched windows lining the back walls and triangles of afternoon sun splashing across the floor, and faint sounds of football practice float from the field below the parking lot below. Behind the parking lot below, I take a seat at Cooper, as, as Cooper Clay, who's palming a crumpled piece of paper like a baseball, whispers, heads up, Addie, and tosses it towards the girl across from him. Addie Prentice blinks, smiles uncertainly, and lets the ball drop to the floor. The classroom clock inches toward three, and I follow its progress with a helpless feeling of injustice. I shouldn't even be here. I should be at Epoch Coffee, flirting awkwardly with Evan Nyman over differential equations. 
Mr. Avery is a give detention first, ask questions never kind of guy, but maybe there's still time to change my mind. I clear my throat and start to raise my hand until I notice Nate's smirk broadening. Mr. Avery, that wasn't my phone you found. I don't know how it got into my bag. This is mine, I say, brandishing my iPhone in its melon striped case. Honestly, you'd be clueless to bring a photo to phone to Mr. Avery's lab. He has a strict no phone policy and spends the first 10 minutes of every class rooting through backpacks like he's head of airline security and we're all on the watch list. My phone was in the locker like always. You too? Addie turns to me quickly. Turns to me quickly. Her blonde shampoo ad hair swirls around her shoulders. She must have been surgically removed from her boyfriend in order to show up alone. That wasn't my phone either. Me three, Cooper chimes in. His southern accent makes it sound like Thray. He and Addie exchange surprised looks, and I wonder how this is news to them when they're part of the same clique. Maybe uber-popular people have better things to talk about than unfair detentions. Somebody punked us. Simon leans forward with his elbows on the desk, looking spring-loaded and ready to pounce on fresh gossip. His gaze darts all over all four of us, clustered in the middle of, this, of the otherwise empty classroom, before settling on Nate. Why would anybody want to trap a bunch of students with mostly spotless records in detention? Seems like the sort of th thing that, oh, I don't know, a guy here who's here all the time might do for fun. I look at Nate, but can't picture it. Rigging detention sounds like work. And everything about Nate, from his messy dark hair to his ratty leather jacket, screams, can't be bothered. Or he yawns it, maybe. He meets me, he meets my eyes, but doesn't say, but, but, but doesn't say a word just tips his chair back even farther. Another millimeter and I'll fall right over. Cooper sits up straighter, a frown crossing his Captain America face. Hang on, I thought this was just a mix up, but if the same thing happened to all of us, it's somebody's stupid idea of a prank and I'm missing baseball practice because of it. He says it like it's a heart surgeon being detained from a life-saving operation. Mr. Avery rolls his eyes. Save the conspiracy theories for another teacher. I'm not buying it. You all know the rules against bringing phone to class and you broke them. He gives Simon an especially sour glance. Teachers knows about that exists, but there's not much they can do to stop it. Simon only uses initials to identify people and never talks openly about school. Now listen up, you're here until four. I want each of you to write a 500 word essay and how technology is ruining American high schools. Anyone who can't follow the rules gets another detention tomorrow. So we already get, so we've been introduced to the main characters. And as you can see, Nate is kind of the bad boy, or at least has that reputation. Uh, so you may be able to you may be able to predict what happens with some of these characters, but you'll probably be, be surprised by some of the other things that happen along the way. So anyways, as I mentioned, you can uh, play, you can put a hold on this and vote book either by either going through our online catalog or by calling the library and we'd be happy to put it on hold for you. Also the ebook and the e-audio book are both available on Overdrive. Uh, so you can, you can download it that way using your North Brunswick library card. Uh, if you have any questions about that, the librarians are help, happy to help you with that. Uh, I'd be curious to hear what, you, what your thoughts on that. And remember, we also have not only this book, but the sequel, One of Us is Next. Uh, but you, you would just need to place a hold on that as well. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to hear your other suggestions for books to read. And let me know if you're interested in joining the book club. Uh, we always enjoy another member. In the meantime, happy reading.